morning once again. Uh, welcome back to Amis for Management. I'm Professor Mario, and today I'll be talking about a tool that is quite known. It's called SWOT analysis, and what it does is that it takes your strengths and weaknesses and relates to opportunities and threats. Okay. So first thing and first step is for us to list all the things that are here. So on the internal side, so inside of our company, we have our own strengths and weaknesses. Okay. Those are things that come from inside. Either we are good at doing things or bad at doing others, okay? Or better or worse than the competition. Now, I will be posting a video about resource-based view that helps you to define strengths and weaknesses, but for the time being, it's things that you do better than the others. Then you have the external part that comes from the market, not from the inside of the company, that are the opportunities and threats. So opportunities are trends that are happening or events that we expect that will actually give you an hypothesis to do better. And threats are events that actually can damage your business or the entire sector. Okay? So normally people stop here and then they have a broad picture of strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats and it's done. Okay? But I would like to move two steps forward. Okay? First step, we go to the toes matrix. What we do is that we put the internal parts, strengths and weaknesses here on the column and then opportunities and threats and we start to relate them. Okay, so what happens where my strengths meet opportunities? Okay, so we have a very good area that we can take advantage of opportunities with things that we already have. That's very nice. My strengths can actually meet my threats as well. So there are some strengths that I can use to diminish the threat that comes from the market. Okay. And then on the bottom side, we have the weaknesses with the opportunities, meaning we have things that will actually constrain ourselves to take the opportunity that there is in the market, and probably have to be aware of that. And we have a very dangerous area that where opportunities meet the threats. So we have already a trend that is bad, and actually we are weak on what should uh, actually diminish that, that bad trend. Now, with that said, we already evolved a lot and we can make better decisions with this new picture of our company and the external environment. But we have a third step, okay? And that's the outcome that you should have from a SWOT analysis. That's an action plan with priorities. So it means that you have strength X meets opportunity X, so it's our first cross and we have an action that we can take with that information okay something that we can do and then we attribute priority to it okay is it something that is actually very very important it's a must do so high priority or actually something that we can take advantage but it's not the most important thing and that comes back to the first video where we define why are you doing business so it's low priority or you have medium priority. And when you order those actions, you can actually go and do something, okay? More than just having a broad picture. So thank you very much once again. I'll be coming back with more videos.